Yo, hi guys, it's Inam here with the Samsung Galaxy S8 and we're going to take a look at some of the amazing customizations that you can make to this device's keyboard to get the best out of how you work. Now most people don't change anything, they just use what's already there but it's good to customize stuff to whatever suits you best. So we're in Samsung Notes here and this is a standard keyboard. Now the first thing that I'm going to show you if you're not already aware how to get into the settings obviously the cog is along the left hand side here so you can long press down on this and it gives you additional icons that you can save to that particular location so you've got all those symbols across the top you've got voice input you've got keyboard you've got emojis you've got one handed operation and then you've got the settings so we're going to go straight into the settings here and the first thing that we're going to look at is multi language support so if you're multilingual not just english here manage input languages and we've got uk selected so if we decide to say we are multilingual in Urdu say, I'm not, but I'll just say Urdu. And we are also multilingual in, I'm gonna say that may be Russian, okay? So when we go back a step here, you'll notice, ooh, there's not much of a change, but if you look at the space bar there, it's got English UK. So this is how easily you can switch between languages if you're multilingual, that is. So if I just do hello, spacebar, you get the standard space. If you want to switch languages, just swipe either direction and we're back at Urdu. You can type whatever you want, switch in between languages. And how cool is that if you're a multilingual, very talented person and can write in two languages? I'm not, but that definitely comes in handy if you're multilingual. So next up, we're gonna go back into the settings here, go back to the cog. Now, I'm gonna select a uh, predictive text. Ooh, before I go down, I'm gonna show you, if you select multiple languages and it doesn't download them straight away or they don't work straight away, make sure you go to the three dots up here and check for updates, otherwise it doesn't download the dictionaries for those particular languages. Just make sure you've got those selected if you're multilingual. Now when using the keyboard, I do prefer to use predictive text because I don't like to type everything out, as well as auto spell check and auto capitalize. Uh, let's see, auto spacing now, punctuation, no. Nope. Keyboard swipe controls. Now this is a good one because I don't like to take my finger off the screen when I'm typing. I don't like to tap each individual key. So if we go in here, you can see we've got no swipe gestures, so nothing happens, swipe to type. So this one, what happens essentially is you can still type individually if you want, or you can just put your finger down and then swipe from each letter and it will type what you want, or in my case, fast food. So yeah, I definitely find this better than tapping on individual keys, swiping across all letters so my finger doesn't actually leave the surface of the screen. Definitely comes in handy. But if you don't like this particular one, when you go into keyboard swipe controls, the other option that you have here is cursor control. If you swipe into this and go back, uh, essentially you can swipe your finger across the entire face of the keyboard and the cursor moves. So if I do that a little bit closer, you can see the cursor's moving. That comes in pretty handy, but I like to keep it at swipe controls or swipe to type even. That works really well for me. So within here, you've also got keyboard size and layout. So if you don't like the standard keyboard size, you can make it bigger, you can make it narrower if you find the keys are too big. But I find the keys are just about right for me with the standard keyboard. And the other thing that I don't like is I'm used to proper full bone keyboards on computers. So I prefer to have separate number keys. So at the moment, you can see the number keys are on top of that top row there. I prefer them to be separate. So if you tap number keys, you can see it adds the numbers separately. I prefer those definitely over having them doubled up on the QWERTY keyboard. Now the alternative characters are symbols that you normally go into a separate button for. So if I tap this, you'll notice there's symbols next to each individual key. So J's got a star, you've got a dollar symbol next to F. Those definitely come in handy. And if you're wondering how do these actually work, we'll go back a step and there we go. The symbols are there, so if you want to use, say, the, the hashtag 
hold down D, you get a separate menu and you just swipe your finger over that additional symbol and then there it is on the screen. So if you use J for star, boom. That's how easily you can use the additional symbols. Definitely comes in handy if you're a hashtagger or use additional symbols quite a lot. Now, we're gonna go down uh, again and we're gonna go to key tap here. You can see I've turned off sound on vibration because I don't, I like to preserve a lot of battery to be honest. So we will leave the character previews on, but I've turned off sound and vision. You'll also notice high contrast keyboards down here. Now you'll wonder if you tap this, you'll get a little bit of a surprise. Whoa, that looks incredibly bright, doesn't it? Not quite easy on the eye there, but if you're struggling to see the characters and need to see them in high contrast, definitely you can't change the colors. These are what you have as default, but yeah, definitely come in handy if you're struggling with uh, seeing what's on the screen there. If we head back on over into the settings here, I wanna show you something if you do a lot of repetitive typing or type the same thing over and over again, this will definitely come in handy. It's called shortcuts. So if you go in into predictive text, you can see text shortcuts here and you'll be wondering, well, what is this? Well, exactly what it says there, create shortcuts for your frequently used phrases. So if you go in here and add a phrase, say, um, I don't know, hello, everyone, how are you? I like to type that as one word because I'm weird. Okay, and the, the shortcut, whoop, I've typed that in the wrong place. So if we uh, cut that, put it in the expanded phrase, there we go, and the shortcut for this will be, I don't know, OP. So every time I type OP, it will type out that entire phrase across the bottom. So if I hit add, and that's now done. If we go back to the keyboard, and I say if I'm typing away like I do, hit OP, bang, hit space, and or whatever the next character is, like a comma or whatever. So if we do OP again, bang, OP, enter, bang. So that works really well if you end up typing a lot of the same thing repetitively and you can add multiple shortcuts here so you can save different things like email addresses so you don't have to keep on typing symbols or whatnot. That definitely comes in handy. The beauty of Android is that if you don't like the Samsung keyboard, you wanna swap it out for a different one, you can do so. Just go to the Android Play Store, download. My additional favorite one is a Google keyboard so you can swap between the two. So if you wanna swap between the two, once you're in your keyboard here, just hit the little keyboard icon in the bottom right hand corner here and you can see I've got Samsung keyboard, Google voice typing and I've got the additional Gboard, Google keyboard. So if I tap on that, boom, we're in the Google keyboard. How fast was that? So you can swap between the two if you prefer an additional one maybe, but that's the beauty of Android. You can swap between the two if you prefer, but I quite like the Samsung standard keyboard. Lots of functionality there and works a treat as well. Now, if you do a lot of copy and pasting from social media or from galleries and whatnot, hold down on the settings key and hit the clipboard icon, the second from the right, and you can paste in whatever has been used within your clipboard. How handy is that if you're in a conversation and need to reference a screenshot or a, a particular piece of text from social media, you can copy it straight in there. That's absolutely awesome. And obviously you've got the standard keys, symbols towards the left hand side here that you can use and swipe in between if you're not already aware. But my favorite function is the multi language support within these keyboards, absolutely awesome as well as, oh, one final thing that I haven't been able to work out and hopefully someone can help me with this, is this full stop along the left hand side. Normally when you hold down on it, you get additional symbols here. If you select one, that full stop should change to whatever symbol you used last. But for some reason, this isn't working for me. Now in previous generations, that was the case, but for some reason on the Galaxy S8, for me personally, this doesn't seem to work. So if someone can let me know how to fix that so it saves whatever I used last, a bit like the settings icon, but on this side, do let me know in the comment section down below. But that's been how you can customize your Samsung Galaxy S8 keyboard and make it work the way you want it to work. Thanks for watching, have a wicked day, and I'll see you next time.